Hello everyone, welcome back. This video shows you how to crochet a bag using crocodile stitch. The materials record are 3 ply acrylic on 100 grams, 3.5 mm crochet hook, bag handle, a pair, stitch markers, scissors and a blunt needle. Let's begin our project by making a slip knot. After completing the slip knot, work a chain 38 plus 2 extra chains. Now we have completed working our 40 chains. For the round one, we are going to work one half double crochet in third chain. After working the half double crochet, place marker in top of the half double crochet. After placing the marker from the next chain, we are going to work one half double crochet in next 36 chains. So work one half double crochet except the last chain. Now we have completed working our one half double crochet. Into the last chain we are going to work an increase over so three half double crochet increase. This will be our first half double crochet increase, the second half double crochet increase and the third one. After completing the three half double crochet increase, place marker in first half double crochet increase. Now into the next side there will be loops. Into that loops we are going to work one half double crochet. So count it and work one half double crochet in next 36 loops. So work one half double crochet except the last loop. Now we have completed working our one half double crochet in 36 loops. Into the last loop work two half double crochet increase. So first half double crochet increase and the second half double crochet increase into the same stitch. Place marker in top of the first half double crochet increase. Remove the marker and work a slip stitch. In the end of the round 1, we will have 78 half double crochet. For the round 2, begin with the chain 2 and into the same stitch we are working 2 half double crochet increase. So into the same chain or 2 half double crochet increase. Into the first half double crochet increase, place marker. From the next chain, we are going to work 1 half double crochet in next 36 stitches. So count it and work one half double crochet until you reach the 36th chain. Now we have completed working or one half double crochet in 36 chains. Now remove the marker and we are going to work increase in next three stitches. So work 2 half double crochet increase in the very first chain. And into the next chain work 2 half double crochet increase. Into the next chain work 2 half double crochet increase. So we have increased 3 chains. There will be 6 half double crochet. From the next chain work one half double crochet in 36 chains. So count it. This will be your first half double crochet. Second one. Third one. Like this count it until you reach the 36th chain. Now we have reached our marker. Remove the marker and we are going to work two half double crochet increase in next two stitches. So work 2 half double crochet increase. Into the next chain we are going to work 2 half double crochet increase. Now remove the marker and work a slip stitch. In the end of the round 2 we will have 84 half double crochet. 
for the round 3 begin with the chain 2 and into the same chain space into the back loop of one half double crochet and place marker in top of the half double crochet after placing the marker from the next chain work one half double crochet into the back loop so continue working one half double crochet in back loop all along the stitches Now we have completed working our one half double crochet, remove the marker and work a slip stitch. For the round 4, work chain 3 and into the same chain space work one half double crochet and place marker in top of the chain 3. After placing the marker, work a chain 1 and skip next 2 stitches and into the 3rd chain work 2 double crochet. After completing the 2 double crochet, again work a chain 1 and skip 2 chains below and into the 3rd chain work 2 double crochet. After completing the 2 double crochet, work a chain 1 and skip next to 2 stitches and into the 3rd chain work 2 double crochet. Like this, continue the same pattern throughout the round 4. I will be meeting you in the end of the round 4. Now we are in the end of a round 4, remove the marker and work a slip stitch in top of the chain 3. For the round 5 begin with the chain 3 and now we are going to work 4 double crochet in chain 3. So insert the hook into the chain 3 from the back side and we are going to work 4 double crochet after completing the 4 double crochet we are going to work a chain 1 and again we are going to work into the next double crochet so turn the work and now work 5 double crochet into the next double crochet Now we have completed working our 5 double crochet. This will be our first scale. So into the next double crochet between the space we are going to work one single crochet. Again into the next double crochet we are going to work 5 double crochet. So in this round we are going to work the scale and the single crochet alternatively. So here into the double crochets we are going to work 5 double crochet. After completing the 5 double crochet work a chain 1 and turn the work and now we are going to work into the next double crochet. So continue working 5 double crochet into the next double crochet. After completing the 5 double crochet into the next 2 double crochet between space we are going to work 1 single crochet. After completing the single crochet again into the next double crochet we are going to work 5 double crochet. So like similar to the front post double crochet we are working in the double crochet. After completing the 5 double crochet, work a chain 1 and into the next double crochet, again work 5 double crochet. So this will be the pattern of the round. Into the double crochets, we are working 5 double crochet, chain 1 
again into the next double crochet or five double crochet again into the two double crochet between space walk one single crochet so continue the same pattern throughout the round five i will be meeting you in the end of the round five Now we are in the end of our round 5. So here into the last 2 double crochet we are not going to work a single crochet. Before that slip stitch in top of the chain 3. After slip stitching we are going to work 1 single crochet in between the 2 double crochet. So for the next round we are going to work chain 3 and into the same chain space we are going to work 1 double crochet. After working a double crochet work a chain 1 and into the middle of the next scale work 2 double crochet. Again work a chain 1 and into the next single crochet of the previous round work 2 double crochet. So in top of the single crochet chain work 2 double crochet. After completing the 2 double crochet again work a chain 1. And into the next scale in the middle portion work 2 double crochet. This will be the pattern of the round 6. Work a chain 1. And in the top of the single crochet chain or 2 double crochet again or a chain on and into the next scale into the middle space of the next scale or 2 double crochet. So repeat the pattern throughout the round 6 I will be meeting you in the end of the round 6. Now we are in the end of a round 6 slip stitch in top of the chain 3. Round 7 is similar to round 5 so repeat the same pattern work a chain 3 and into the chain 3 of the previous round work 4 double crochet. After completing the 4 double crochet work a chain 1 and into the next double crochet work 5 double crochet. So similar to the round 5 we are going to work the same pattern in the round 7. So the crocodile stitch is the repetition of 2 round, round 5 and round 6. Now we have completed our first scale. In between the next two double crochet or a single crochet again into the next double crochet or five double crochet After completing the 5 double crochet again work a chain 1 and into the next double crochet work 5 double crochet. After completing the 5 double crochet in between the next 2 double crochet space work 1 single crochet. So repeat the same pattern throughout the round 7. Now we are in the end of a round 7. Here we won't work one single crochet in the last two double crochet before slip stitching. So first we are going to slip stitch in chain 3.
after slip stitching of one single crochet in between the two double crochet so again the round 8 will be similar to the round 6 so repeat the pattern of a chain 3 and work one double crochet in same chain space after completing the double crochet of a chain 1 and in the middle of the next skein work 2 double crochet after completing the 2 double crochet work a chain 1 again in top of the single crochet that is in the chain of the single crochet work 2 double crochet so this round is similar to the round 6 again work a chain 1 and in the middle of the skein work 2 double crochet so repeat the same pattern throughout the round 8 Repeat the round 5 and round 6 up to round 26. I will be meeting you in the end of the round 26. Now we are in the end of a round 26. Slip stitch in chain 3. After slip stitching work single crochet in between 2 double crochet. For the round 28, we are going to work chain 2 and 1 half double crochet in same chain. After completing the half double crochet, place marker in top of the half double crochet. From the next chain, we are going to work 1 half double crochet all over the stitches. So in the top of the scale, into the half scale, we will have two chains. So work two half double crochet in top of the scale. So work two half double crochet in top of the half scale. Into the middle of the scale, work one half double crochet. Again, into the next half scale, work two half double crochet. In top of the single crochet chain work one half double crochet. After completing the half double crochet repeat the pattern. In top of the scale, in top of the half scale there will be two chains. So work two half double crochet again in the middle chain work one half double crochet. Again in the other half of the scale there will be two chain work two half double crochet. Again in top of the single crochet work one half double crochet like this continue the same pattern throughout the round now we have completed working our one half double crochet all over the stitches now remove the marker and work a slip stitch for the next round begin with the chain 2 and one half double crochet into the same chain space and place marker in top of the half double crochet And in this round we will be working with a handle so place marker measuring 2.5 inches on both the side now continue working one half double crochet till you reach the next marker Now we have reached the marker so take the handle and now we are going to work one half double crochet through the handle so remove the marker work one half double crochet through the handle continue the same pattern 
until you reach the next marker. Now we have reached the marker so remove the marker and walk one half double crochet. Again walk one half double crochet till the next marker. Once you reach the marker place the next handle and walk one half double crochet through the handle. So continue the same pattern throughout the round. 28 I'll be meeting you in the end of the round 28 Now we are in the end of a round 28 Remove the marker and work a slip stitch in top of the half double crochet Now for the next round begin with the chain 1 and work one single crochet in same chain and place marker in top of the single crochet and work one single crochet all along the stitches. Now we have completed working our one single crochets. Remove the marker and work a slip stitch. For the next round we are going to work a reverse single crochet so begin with the chain 1 and into the previous chain work 1 single crochet. Continue working 1 single crochet on previous chains. So in this round we are working reverse single crochet continue the reverse single crochet pattern. Now we are in the end of the reverse single crochet work a chain 1 and cut the extra yarn out and insert the remaining yarns now we came to the end of our video so friends i hope you really enjoyed this video if you are new to my video please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon for the notification Thanks for watching. Again, I will be meeting you in a new video. So, take care and bye-bye.